Gizzy's yeah. had a bath. I've combed her thoroughly. Well, you'll see. There probably will be a little bit of jagged things along the way. And we're going to do a groom. I have my clippers with a number 10 blade. The number 10 blade is so that I can use the slip-on combs. As mentioned, if you're using the slip-on combs, they must be used over the number 10 blade, not over the 3. The 3F three is, the is the longest solid blade you can have on your clippers. It'll give you a slightly slot shorter clip than what I'm going to do today, but a very manageable, neat clip. So today I'm going to start with the size 6 over the body of the clippers. I'm going to slap that onto here and I'm going to start. It's really important that you have a blade wash or a blade cleaner to dip your blades in as you're working and dry them off. You can use your blower to dry them off. Keeps your blades flowing well, keeps them sharp and lubricated. You can stay there, thanks Giz. So I'm going to start with this length. I think this will be a great length for Gizzy today. And I'm going to start here. Remembering that when you use your clippers, if you use them against the coat, it's going to make it shorter. I'm going to start here and I'm going to work with the coat initially. I'm going to take off all the top bits. Going sideways against the coat there. Into the neck here. When I get to the head, I'm going to come forward with the clipper blade, like this. Backward, like this. I don't go backward like this with the head. Slightly down to the side and scallop it out a little bit. Flick it out like that. Down the side, down the ears. I'm actually going to do the ears shorter later. I'm going to put the number three on and do the ears. Everything we do is trying to make this easy to manage. You may want to have a shorter coat, um, and if so, use the 3F. It's much easier comb to use. Again, this is the slip-on comb. It's the purple length number six. So as I go, Everything's going to be this length. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to come up. Remembering, guys, this is a groom for you to do at home. It's not a professional groom. It's to make your dog look neat and tidy. I think it looks really neat and tidy. Professional groomers may see this and say, that's not what I would do. And that's okay. I'm all right with that. This is about making it easy for you. And you enjoying the process. I actually love grooming my dog. Izzy's having a bit of a head shake because she's just had her ears done. When I come to the legs, you can leave the leg all one length if you want. If you want to, leave the leg longer. You scallop it out here at the hip. Scallop your clipper blade out and then blend it in. I'm not going to do that today. I want it nice and easy to manage. So from the hock upwards, I'm going to come up. Like this. Nice and smooth. That's because she has been combed thoroughly prior or after being washed. Never ever clip your dog unless it's been firstly washed and dried. You'll blunt in your clippers and the coat will be too hard to manage. You will never get a nice neat comb. When you get to the tail, pull the tail down like this, between the legs. You can come back up the other way too if you want to. That gives it a nice even finish. Into the legs like that. And like that. Got a little knot there. So I'm just going to stop for a second, grab the comb, get that little knot out, and carry on. If you've got a dog with a curly tail, 
you may want to run the clipper blades all the way over the tail and that looks really neat um, I quite like it like that it's up to you how you'd like to do it I'm going to go back over the coat remembering that when you go back over the coat again you're going to shorten it slightly but I like the finish hold the dog's head up On the inside of the leg, the same. To the front of the leg. And at the base of the leg, I like to actually trim it with the scissors. You can come down like this, and that will give you a nice, even finish. Don't go upward on the foot, because what we'll do is ruin this. You'll look like you've got pointy feet on your dog. When you get to the front leg, Come down the leg. All the way down. All the way. All the way. Coming up inside here. Down the leg. From the inside as well. Again, all the way down to the foot. If you want to, you can start here at the top of the hop and blend it in and come up. Again, that's leaving your leg a little bit longer and you can shorten the body. Another trick that I sometimes do is I use this on the legs scallop it out at the top and then I use a number three, F, on the body and that makes the body shorter again. And it looks lovely, you've got a slightly longer leg. You have to take these off regularly and take the hair out from in here, clean your blade. That has to happen regularly. Give it a blow. You don't want your clipper blades to be congested. And you can see I'm going over that again and it's still coming off. So it does take a little bit of time to get the balance that you want. The length. And the consistency, nice and even. It's a very um, rewarding thing, grooming a dog. I actually love it. It gets time to spend with the dog. You feel accomplished. Up in the hock here, come backwards, just to neaten that up. If you want to, and I do, from here, from the wrist, I go back and even it out. Again, gives you that nice even look. In here, some people shave, shave in there, and you can if you want to. There's a little bit of a knot in there, so I'm going to come back to that later. Come up on the shoulder, come up from the groove in here. Again, there may be professional groomers that don't agree with that, and that's okay. Everything we do is to try and make Enjoying your dog easier. Less grooming, less maintenance. So if we keep the, the coat a manageable le level or length, it will be more fun. Don't have to comb as often. It's pretty much done on one side, except for the fiddly bits, which we will come to. I'll go around the other... Oh, actually, I'll turn her around because it's much easier if I turn her around. And there's a reason I chose to do the little dog today and not the big one. <laughs> I can feel that they're clogging up a little bit. It's time to push them off. Unclog that, skip on comb, clean your blade. Often at this time, I will dip that or spray that in a lubricant and a cleaner and blow it off with the blower and then start again. Careful when you put your blade on, you don't get the inside bits caught in the blade because it will actually flatten them. 
coming in from underneath the stomach and up. Again, from the hop, I'm going to come up because we wanted a shorter, more manageable length to the coat all over, basically. In here, inside the leg, gives you time to look at this side of the leg as well. Come up in there. See how she's pulling her leg? Don't let go. If you let go, they think they've had a win. Then they'll pull harder next time. So don't let go of that leg if they're pulling it. Coming up onto the inside here, just neatening that up. We get to the sanitary area next. Again, if you want to do the legs nice and neat, come down from the hock. Don't go up. Again with the leg, down, all the way, all the way down. Into the chest here. Nice and neat. I do under the belly with a number three. You can use it the same length if you want to. If your dog has a slightly, looks slightly longer in the leg, if it's going through that gangly period, um, don't cut that in here too short. Makes the dog look taller. Um, again, from the wrist, I'm going up. Izzy had her dental done last week, that's where she had her injection for her anaesthetic. Again, come back up, even it all out, into the area of the armpit, scan, back down, even it again, right down the core, now I'm going to pause for a minute, I'm just going to tidy the bulk of this up, then I'll come back and we'll do a little bit of the fiddly stuff. So again, holding, holding her up, and I come right here in under the beard, here. I hold the top part away, and I even this bottom part off. We want that to be easy to manage. When you come to the ears, come down at the side of the ears, like that. Keep that the same length as well. You can girl stop. You can go back like this. Again, with this one here. Go through your coat multiple times at different angles. It will give you evenness. I'm actually going to change to the number three blade now. I've actually changed to the 3F now. There were certain parts of the dog that I like to do with the 3F. Um, and again, you can do the body if you want to, the entire body. I like to come up into the grooves here, make them nice and neat, again into the grooves here. I like to come up on the chest, but not to the front all the way, just to the sides, keeps it nice and neat. Especially if they're going to the beach and things like that, you want to. If I had, a, if I was going to the beach all the time with my dogs, I would probably do a number three all over legs, body, everything with the three F. When I get to the head, I will do the three F across the top, like that, down the back, like this, or with the grain of the coat, and I will come down the ears, lay it flat and come down the ears like this. Lay it flat, come down the ears. In behind the ears, nice to do with the number three. You can keep the blade up a bit higher, 
not so flat, it will give you a bit more length as well. Just even it out. See the 3F is not much longer than that, not much shorter than that purple snap-on comb I had, so there's probably no benefits in going through the hassle of the snap-on comb, to be honest. I'm liking that 3F there. Again, hold the tail, tail down like this. And the sanitary area is quite easy to do from the tail, straight down. back up. Don't be afraid to clip around the vulva or where the testicles would sit. That's an area that does get quite matted. Okay, so when we come to the face, I like to try and keep under the beard quite short. I think it's just so easy to manage that way. So you can see that I've got the beard lifted up and the bottom part I'm keeping short. So I'll come back in the next film clip and we'll do some trims and things. So just make sure your coat's nice and even and I'll come back with some scissor work shortly.